Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one about uh, what is concerning about the Browns. One, uh, actually, first time caller, a uh, big fan of the show. I guess I'm going to start this off by saying one of my biggest takeaways from the Browns, I would have to say, is probably just getting the pressure from the quarterback. In the games that I've seen, quarterbacks, even Joe Flacco, is just having way too much time in the pocket, finding whoever they want, you know, exploiting the broken coverages. I don't know, a lot of times I've seen people say it was because of the, the play calling of Kevin Stefanski and whatnot. But honestly, I just think it's really the defense concern. Not a lot of pressure. Um, DBs playing too far back and not giving enough pressure or playing man. I don't know. Big fan of the Browns, and I just think they should be better. What do you think the biggest problem is uh, for the Browns starting so far? Thank you so much. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Let's welcome in Eddie McDonald from Dog Pound Daily. And Eddie, when, um, when, when we were talking about it, you, you made a really valid point. Um, not only defense, but kind of the, the leaders on that defense. Yeah, the leadership is just absolutely not there. Uh, to answer the voicemail's question, the call on the voicemail, I uh, appreciate him calling in and leaving a voicemail. Uh, the defense is absolutely the issue. And we came into this season thinking, are right, the defense is good enough and talented enough to get us to a point where Brissett has to just make minimal plays and just manage the game slightly better than what Baker Mayfield did last year. And uh, so far it's been flipped. Jacoby Brissett has been the one playing extremely well outside of uh, three costly turnovers uh, late in games. But even yesterday they had a chance to win the game. Uh, the defense did have a big stand uh, on fourth down. They felt disrespected, but there's just no leadership on the team. You know, Miles Garrett, you know, was chirping at the media because the fans were booing. Well, what do you expect when you blow a 13 point lead with a minute 55 left? And then you had him yesterday uh, chirping again, you know. So he's not stepping up as a leader as you would think he would. Uh, he is, you know, the highest paid player on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, Denzel Ward did not play well the first three weeks, and now he is starting to play a little better. But now he's in concussion protocol, so he there's another leader out. And speaking of leadership, the loss of Anthony Walker is a lot bigger than a lot of people want to give credit for because, as Corey Kennan of the Browns Wire wrote, he's the glue that held this defense together. He was the veteran leader, and there's a reason why Shaq Leonard, Darius Leonard, whatever you want to call him uh, in Indy, was very sad when he left and came to Cleveland. Yeah, and, you know, the, the run defense um... – struggling coincides with him going out so there's uh, that's not by coincidence he was a guy that in the middle of that defense uh, made a lot of plays in the run game so that's uh, that's something they got to figure out and they got to figure out pretty quickly